Hello again, Seafood J here, also known as the Artist of Truth for this channel. I have a lot of new projects going on, especially for my Kung Fu Institute for Kennedy Wing Chun, doing some archival footage with lots of martial artists from different martial art disciplines in the area. Right now, I am focusing on a lot of other things that Artist of Truth will be involved in. Myself being the Artist of Truth, but the channel, all the material. I'm working to catalog and put together a sequence of videos in something similar to a DVD format so that people will be able to access them accordingly for the juicing, for smoothies or raw food or the philosophy simply things to inspire your mind to change your life I'm not on here always just talking about diet nutrition and such even though if your temple and your body is not pure your mind will stay tainted but one can be a catalyst to the other if you can change your mind then you can change your body and if you start to change your body and get clean in your body then your mind becomes clear so on and so forth I would like to address something though, uh, you know, I was told recently that people don't like to hear or they feel that sometimes vegans or, or Buddhists or Kung Fu people or different or Muslims or anyone that's different from the normal, normal society is pushing their views on everyone else. I would like to say that society has been pressing and pushing its view of what is correct on everyone in the world since society has been formed. The people that govern and create society push their views into everyone in order to keep them humble, to keep order. There is some goodness to it, some balance, if you will. But I do, I do not care. It doesn't matter to me what society says. If you say that I should be Christian or that I should be Muslim or if all of the society in which you live is Buddhist or Jewish, then you are expected to be Jewish and if you step outside of it, then that society looks down on you. If you're Christian, then that society looks down on you. If you are Muslim, Buddhist, whatever, or if you're in a society that says that women should not have short hair, so on and so forth, you, you gather my, my picture here. You understand what I'm saying? It matters very little to me what the populace thinks, except when you're trying to run a business and you're trying to market and you're trying to survive in a world that is built around the economics of money. Then yes, making a living, you, a living, you have to cater your, your image a little if you're going to sell a product. But as a human being, simply expressing yourself honestly even though that's very hard sometimes. It should matter very little to you what society thinks. You, you may have struggled for 10 years or 15 years or your entire life with something that you wanted to say, some thing that you wanted to do, and yet you felt that you could not do it because it was outside of your class or outside of your environment or the, the your neighborhood or the nature that you raised, your family wants you to be a doctor and, and, and yet you want to travel the world and climb mountains. So who cares what anyone else thinks? If you want to be a vegan, if you want to eat buffalo, if you want to do anything in your life that is beneficial, is not harming anyone else and, and probably is, is going to be good for other people, then just forget everyone else do what you like. It's the reason people stay in a marriage where their spouse beats them and and tells them that they're stupid and that they're ugly and they're fat and they need to lose weight and that or they work themselves to death because their spouse wants everything in the world or they themselves can't control their own minds so they're they're a doormat. It's the reason that people do those things is because they they feel like they have to. They're conditioned, they're brainwashed. I am here to say I don't care what anyone else thinks in that aspect. I care what is right and correct and what people feel. If you can change your life by simply hearing something, if you go to church 
and you hear a message and it changes your life no matter what somebody else's viewpoint is about it. It doesn't matter what I think about religion. It doesn't matter what I think about your job. If you find a job working at a coffee shop and it helps you to change and, and you feel great and, and that snowballs into some butterfly effect down the road where you're in, you know, somewhere in Tibet, climbing a mountain, or maybe you start a, an organization that leads all kinds of people and changes their lives for the better, gets them off the street. Maybe you do something, but you will never do it if you follow society. And I'm not saying that you should rebel and, and tattoo your entire face and pierce your lips just for the sake of it. But if tattooing your face and piercing your lips is really a part of you, maybe from some ancient time ingrained into your DNA, part of your culture from somewhere else, and it makes you happy, who cares what anybody else thinks? Do it. And, and, and I'm not endorsing that. I'm simply trying to make a point. I encounter these people all the time that go, you know, I would be, you know, I would come train with you, I would do this, but I kind of feel like you're pushing your philosophy on me. Don't watch my videos. Don't do anything if you don't feel that it's correct. I, I, philosophy of society has been pushed on me my entire life. Be this way, do this, speak this way, cut your hair this way, be white, do this, you know. Don't be Native American or whatever. But it doesn't mean that my way is correct or that it's incorrect. It's simply a way, a path, something to achieve and accomplish in life. If you're in a bad relationship, get out of it. If you're in a job that's killing you, even if you're broke, get out of it. Stay in it as long as you can, but be making, play, be making plans for the train to get out to do something different, to do something better. When is the correct time? Is now right? The future one day? What is the future? The future is right now because the only way you will ever experience anything in the future is you if you are doing it right now. If you look down and you're fat, I don't like that term, but it's funny and it, it fits. If you look at yourself and you go, man, I'm a fat pig. Right now is the future of when you started eating peanut butter and, and tacos in the middle of the night. You were creating the future. That's why, and it can only be experienced now. So you have to make that change now, but you cannot do it based on what I say. Sure, like every other philosopher or spiritual leader or human being that has inspired someone, that is my job, that is my place in life as a teacher, as a leader. But I can't do anything for you. You have to, maybe, I hope that I say something that inspires someone to say, you know what? I'm going to do something different. Even if it's to prove to Jay that I can do it. Or to myself. But you should really just do it for you. So that in the future moment of now, you wake up and you look around at your house. It doesn't matter if it's a little trailer or a camper with no bills and you're happy and you're really free to go outside and walk or breathe the air because you're not having to rush off somewhere to not be with your children or to not be with your love, breaking your hands, working to buy things to impress people you don't like, to just live and to be real. And I'm being real with you. Artist of truth, there's a reason for that. There are lots of things in my life, in my life that I've done and I, I regret it. But I'm here now, and I'm not here to tell anyone that you have to do anything. I'm a vegan, and when I'm speaking to people, I, I truly believe that if, you, if you're if you dying, there's lots of what people have been eating meat for thousands of years, we're still all alive, but I don't do it. It's a path to healing for me. But this, when I'm talking about food, I'm talking to people that are wanting to be vegans or vegetarians, that are juicing, that are trying to change their lives. Or for people that are still eating meat but are super super fat and they don't realize sometimes what's coming and how that how they got that way. But really if you you know, I love everyone. But when a person says, Well, you know, I kind of feel like you're pushing it on me, I mean how many times did I have to sit through something and I don't want to offend anyone, but 
through things that I didn't care to hear, that wasn't that, that were not a part of me, that inwardly I was feeling from a small child I had to basically be something that I was not because I was afraid to step outside of it. Now I don't care. Now I realize that I changed my life and if other people can break that feeling of I must do it because people think that I should do it, they can change their lives too. Trust me, I said in sermons and different things many times in my life and I didn't agree with it, but I had to be a part of it. Or I was on a job where I hated it. I hated it. And, the, and my boss was telling me that, you know, you need to do this and be this way. And, you know, and as well, sometimes that's good. It, it's part of the job. You adapt and you have to and you have to flow. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying to you. I'm simply saying that society and the global realm around us has pushed their view upon everyone. Invading countries, taking them over because we say it should be a certain way. And these people have lived for thousands of years without us. We go into a jungle somewhere and we level it off. And we tell these people that they're savages and they're running around with spears. That they need shoes and all this. And they need to buy, you know, cheeseburgers at McDonald's in the morning. So we level off the rainforest with all this stuff and they throw up at McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. That Who cares what other people think? Hold your views. Stand up for what you believe in. No matter what it is. Whether it's religion, your work, your life, your art. How many times do people want to paint or be a musician and they can't do it now because they, they should do something else. They should be a welder. They should be a doctor, a lawyer, an astronaut. Forget all about that. Forget about me. As I always say, don't believe me. Don't accept me. Experiment for yourself. I'm just here to inspire, to maybe do something to help people change. That is my goal. When I'm teaching people Kung Fu, it's because I train Kung Fu. It's part of my life. Lots of people don't. They go train something else. They might train karate, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, boxing, whatever. We're all different. And we're all the same in the sense that we all want happiness. We all want peace. So if you don't want, if you don't really don't like what I'm doing, don't watch my videos. Don't call me and be like, yeah, man, I was watching your video. I don't really agree with that. I don't think you should say that. You should do that. Well, you know, when these people... When they're telling their kids to do something and they're telling everyone else that if you don't, you don't take, you don't talk about my stuff and this, if you don't agree with me, <laughs> and I don't mean to pick at anyone, but that's, that's what I got. That's the kind of thing that I, I've gotten recently. I don't like that stuff. You shouldn't shave your head. You have a full head of hair. You look like some kind of, and, and, and I, and I deal with that. You know, I just smile at people and go, okay, whatever. But it calls people, they really don't mean any harm. I don't believe they just don't understand. They're pushing their view on me at the same time telling me not to do it to them. So, just I'm just being real with you. I'm being honest. That's how I feel this morning. You know, I love you. I appreciate everyone that watches my videos and that, you know, have inspired me. I've been inspired by many, many people. And I'm still inspired every single day. I train every day. I eat a certain way. I live a certain way. I speak a certain way. I didn't always do it. And I fall out of it sometimes and I go back to it. We And it's not, oh, we're only human. No, it's we're brainwashed. It has nothing to do with being a human. You can be a dog or anything. It has to do with being conditioned. And our minds are locked into this every single day. And they keep it in the flow. So I'm here to say, break it. Live, love, be happy. Do it now. Because now is all you ever have. I hope that you've understood me. So, as always, I love everyone. I'll talk with you soon.